Game Madison. Here's a look at the rundown for tomorrow. Highs will be generally in the 90s, so we're going to see a widespread drop in temperatures. No more of this isolated pocket right along I-80 with that Delta breeze. 90s for the foothills. Chance of thunderstorms for the Sierra. And then for the Bay Area, we've been looking at quite a bit of fog. Highs will be in the 50s and 60s along the coast. Gilmore Backyard is we're heading into this Wednesday late afternoon. Mostly sunny skies. We're at 93 for Sacramento, 98 for Stockton, 99 for Modesto. Now we still have some areas in the 100s including Marysville at 103 degrees, a sunny and 82 right now for Tahoe. You can see a beautiful uh, view up there. This is along the bike trail on the Truckee River. Bill Stahl sending that in and you see the blue skies, even a little bit of snow up there. Oh, it's so good to see that up in the high country. You can submit weather photos just like that by uploading them on the ABC 10 app. Hit the weather for had the weather tab, scroll down, and that's where you can be a part of the weather force team. OK, here's a look at the thunderstorm risk for tomorrow and really Really want to focus on this because we're getting into that point of the year where we're starting to see even the higher elevations starting to dry out. Not as much as the valley, but you can see it's confined mostly around the Tahoe Basin and then south of Highway 50 along 395 up towards the higher elevations of 88, 89. And then that expands a bit heading into our Thursday forecast. So again, that's going to elevate the fire risk. These are new numbers out today where you can see the comparison. Last year, historic fire season. Compare that to this year. You can see we had about 3,600 100 acres burned last year. Compare that to this year, almost 17,000 acres. That's about a 465% increase in acres burned. A couple of things that we've been seeing uh, time and time again are fires sparked by people trying to make their defensible space, space by using their lawn mowers. Metal blades plus rocks equals fires, as well as mowing lawns on dry grass and weeds. If you need to do that, just do it early in the day when that humidity is higher, obviously dragging vehicle parts and properly disposing cigarettes and matches. We have a pattern shift and that's going to help us, but it's also going to bring in the risk of some thunderstorms popping up here for tomorrow in the Sierra as well as for our Thursday forecast. Still keeping that light onshore flow going and we're still under that ridge of high pressure. So it's kind of the compete, uh, competing weather systems that are bringing not only a bit of warmth to the forecast, but a light delta breeze. So we're not going to see a huge drop in temperatures just a touch heading into tomorrow. Highs in the 80s for this year. Tomorrow we're in the 90s still for much of the foothills. 98 still for Ione. It just takes us some time to see the whole air mass cool down. So a chance of thunderstorms for Wednesday and Thursday. It's not a huge risk, but something we'll keep an eye on. 50s along the coast heading into tomorrow's forecast. 80s as we head towards the Carquina Straits and the Delta, but we're still seeing a few isolated areas with 100s like Turlock. We're still at 100. Patterson 99. Oroville, Yuba City still about 100 for tomorrow tomorrow as well as Calusa. But again, right through the Delta here and along I-80, we'll see some of the coolest temperatures. 90s in play all the way through the weekend. And then next week, we are back to the 80s.